All right, so a lot of discussion going on with the Iron Dome. So what is the Iron Dome? How does it work? What is it? And so that's the goal of this video is break down and maybe shed a little bit of light of what the Iron Dome system and why such systems exist in the world today. Hey, what's up and welcome to my channel. My name is John Waters. Goodbye, Rain. I used to fly around in F-16s. Now I fly in the commercial world, host of the Afterburn podcast. This is something new I'm venturing into. And today we're gonna to talk about the Iron Dome system and what that is, because there's a lot of talk of it in the news. So hopefully this video, if you find it interesting, consider hitting that subscribe and like button and then drop a comment if you have a question about something you'd like to discuss or maybe me do a video on. Again, new territory, so we'll see where this goes. But that being said, let's get into it. the Iron Dome? Why does it exist? Well, the Israelis, politics aside, right? Facts are facts. They get a lot of artillery and rocket attacks. Uh, in fact, the Jerusalem Post said in 2019, the previous two years leading up to that point, 2,600 rocket attacks. That's a lot of incoming artillery and IDF, indirect fire, that is rolling into a heavily populated area. So you can obviously see why there was a need to defend against this. So, Born is the need for a system such as Iron Dome. 2004, they received over 4,000 rocket attacks. That was kind of the genesis, and that was the push to go out there and develop a system. So I-Dome, the Iron Dome was developed, and then a naval version, C-Dome, was also developed. Developed by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, as well as Israeli Aerospace. So those two contractors developed the Iron Dome system. Iron Dome is designed to detect and destroy incoming artillery and rockets out to 40 miles plus. And it has, from what I've seen, a fairly high effective rate at destroying targets, 80 to 90%. Of the successful intercepts, it costs anywhere between 70 to $100,000 per intercept. Now, when we talk about saving innocent lives, that's huge. One of the discussions that's out there too is also how do you lower this cost? Well, new technology, new weapons, um, like such as directed energy might make it more cost effective to protect. There's an estimate that 100,000 rockets exist in Hezbollah in their arsenal. So when you do 100,000 rockets and multiply that by 70 or $100,000 per rocket intercept, that gets to be a pretty big number. So Iron Dome is all weather, all conditions, fog, dust storms, rain, whatever it might be, it's still capable and is able to go out there and defend. So it's comprised of three primary components or fundamentals. So the radar, so detection and tracking, a battle management weapons control system, BMC, and a missile firing unit. The Iron Dome system uses missiles to destroy incoming targets. The missiles are highly maneuverable. They use fins to steer. They're equipped with electrical optical sensors um, that help guide it. And also it's each missile is capable of handling multiple targets at once, which is kind of a plus when you're dealing with the deluge of weapons that are inbound. So the missile is going to utilize a proximity fuse as it gets close to its target to detonate and then destroy or disrupt its path and then take it take it down from that point. Much like most air-to-air -air missiles or surface-to-air missile systems, you know, it might spear the target, but also part of it is just to get close to the target, detonate a proximity fuse, and it's going to send a lot of fragmentation into this target. You can imagine a thousand BBs ripping into a fighter jet. It would do a lot of damage. The Iron Dome system is going to do the same thing. Okay, now a lot of science is going to hit you here when this happens. So some really smart people, right? They're looking at a projectile that's coming inbound, that's a threat. And through, again, science and technology and math, these computers are gonna run calculations to predict where that path of that rocket is going to land. And then the system launches a missile that goes to intercept that incoming threat and detonate it 
airborne before it's able to threaten the population. So it uses Tamir interceptors. That's the missile that I was discussing earlier to intercept each Tamir interceptor as it's called is three meters in length. That's a decent size weapon to be shooting. And those cost again, a hundred thousand a piece. Each missile batteries is a hundred million dollars a piece. So this is an expensive system to not only to develop, but to operate as well. So the Iron Dome system uses an Acer radar, an active electronically scanned array radar. That is the new technology that is rolling out as far as radar goes. And you'll see in most modern fighters with that radar, they're able to track up to 1100 targets at once, which is mind boggling when you think about it. And just because they can track those targets doesn't mean they can engage all those targets, but that's a uh, high level of fidelity as far as a, the number, this is the sheer number of threats or targets that are out there and being able to discern that. Big piece of this too is knowing what is a threat and what's not a threat. So the technology that they've employed with the Iron Dome, the radar is able to determine what is going to be a threat, like what is going to actually land in a populated area and what is going to land harmlessly in a field, right? So again, it'd be the golden BB if the farmer was out there and the rocket or the artillery shell landed there. With these uh, missiles costing $100,000 a piece, you just don't want to shoot at something that's not a threat, right? You want to conserve that shot for something that's going to be a threat and let Everything else just kind of happened out in the wash. I mentioned eight Iron Dome systems is what Israel employs. Each Iron Dome system can defend 150 square kilometers. So the Iron Dome batteries underwent upgrades between 2012 and 2014. Additionally, two were fielded prematurely based on the conflict that arose in 2014, where the Palestinian Islamic Jihad had acquired uh, over 10,000 military grade rockets and artillery shells that they fired. During the conflict, 4,500 mortars were launched into Israel. Around 800 of them were deemed threats. They were successfully able to intercept 735 for a 90% success rate. So it's huge. So wrapping up, it's pretty impressive to know that in such a dynamic situation, you know, where you could have hundreds of rockets that are rolling in that these Iron Dome systems are able to detect those, determine which are threats, and then allocate missiles to then go intercept and hit these. And it's a short time span, right? It's happening very fast. That You may have to make all these determinations and then go out there and then put two missiles in a very close proximity where one of them can detonate and destroy the other airborne. It's wild, really, when you think about it.